Bowman, also Cindy Brown, as well as Jennifer Gillum for the United States. And that part comes to you up on the baseline. Hortensia with five. Three-point deficit for the Brazilian team, and the ball will go to Brazil. 22-19, we've got 11-20 left to play. First half. Three-point drive by the West. The ball is in Silva. Well, Cammy Edwards is going to have to get up on her and not let her get the ball out there. She has 10 points. There are 12 points now in the game. Good move to drive by Cynthia. Better job than the Americans on the board, both offensively and defensively. Well, the problem, this is an opportunity to tie the game at 25. She said that just like a rebounder, Rick. That's a beauty <laughs> goal, <Elvis. laughs> Just inside of 10 minutes to play here in the first half. It's been a very exciting game. If you just joined us, Brazil jumped out to an early lead. The United States overcame that deficit, was leading comfortably, but the Brazilians have fought back. Rick was going to be a good start. Bulgaria yesterday. And they came back, and they never quit. So it's Bulgaria. They, 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 they never gave up. So they were down by, it looks like they were out of it for a while, and then they came roaring back. Some three-point plays. That's Fran Harris. Hortensia is guarding her. Gillen inside. Foul from behind by Sabral. That was a good pass by Witherspoon to get the ball in like that. So crisp, and it was low enough. Where Sabral had to reach around and create the foul. That's the first Gillum's tough to get around, too. Yes, <laughs> with the lower body strength. I like the way you say that. <laughs> well, she uses her legs well. Right. <laughs> and every other part of her body. Well, again, trouble on the free throw line. Fran Harris with the recovery. Turns it into a three point play for the United States. It's now 28 to 24. Doesn't look like uh, head coach Cardoza has any plans of taking Paula De Silva or Hortensia out of the ball game. Good uh, ball. Harris has shut up. And the three pointers working the Brazilian team. They now have gotten the lead. 29 to 28 at the 8:30 mark. All the Brazilians will not give up. The Americans having a tough time getting the ball to go down, and they've got some great shooters in fact. The question, Cheryl Miller being on the bench. Live knocked away by the Brazilian. That's Deshera leading the break. She gets it to Hortensia, who loses it out of bounds. Why, well, and the Weber's going to try to draw the foul. Drew the foul, got no call. What do you think about Cheryl Miller not being in the game? Well, I had a person that coached for a few years. <laughs> you don't know think I get to but I'm wondering. Okay. 7.50 left to play here in the first half. The Brazilian team leading by one, 29 to 28. Jennifer Gillen with a strong move inside. It goes back out to Cynthia Cooper. And Sabral controls for Brazil. The United States not able to find the basket, especially in close. The Silva. Paula De Silva is fouled by Weatherspoon. She'll go to the free throw line. And finally, Cheryl Miller and Donovan coming back into the game. Brazil leading 29-28 with 7.34 left to play in the first half. In this ball game, first half, in this far first half, that's exactly right, Bill. And quickly, the United States team taking advantage of the international rule where the official doesn't have to handle the ball. They lead by five, 36-31. Fran Harris on the outside. Cheryl Miller keeps alive. And Donovan is there. She can't get it to drop. The United States still ice cold inside. But they get another opportunity thanks to Fran Harris. Here come the jury too much for the second half. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. It's been a very interesting ball game. Brazil went off so quickly. Americans came back. Brazil came back to take the lead. And now the Americans have it. That's for Russell Davis. Three seconds, so they're calling a foul inside. It's going to be against Suzette the Silva. We have a lot of the Silvas out here. That was a tough call for the Brazilians because that really was not a good shot selection by Clarissa Davis. Well, when you penetrate to the basket, uh, it usually mm -hmm. seems that you do get some breaks. But of course, in international competition, that's not always yeah, the case. No, we saw that play yesterday with mm -hmm. the Americans. They tackled somebody from the Yugoslavian team and nothing was called. And sometimes the break you get is your nose. That's what I remember about that. 37 to 31. Biggest lead of the game right now for the American team. And you know the Brazilians are getting ready to make a run at them. They usually do. You notice that the Americans left for that full court pressure that they used in the first game against Yugoslavia, which works so well. This team's a little bit too quick, and I'm sure Coach K.L. not wanting to give too many easy opportunities. 
And then it gets too many guys in foul trouble. Hortensia is on the bench getting a rest. But Paula De Silva is still in the game. That's Paula with the ball right now. Getting a little double team action. And Donovan comes out from under the boundary for the good block. Never makes you think that. Three pointer. Two. He was missing. He's behind the three pointer line for Paula De Silva. Oh, man. Uh, hey, Rick. You can see that in a minute. That's ahead. I don't know what I'm saying. She had my respect. She has 18 points in the ball game. She shot one of those a little bit further than that. Again. Bulgaria yesterday. She was even surprised you went in. Three seconds. Carissa Davis. The four-point lead only for the United States team. We have four minutes left to play here in the first half. Cammy Etheridge on Paula Da Silva. Sobral tries to set the pick. Miller comes out and picks up the foul. Second personal against Cheryl. That will send Paula to the free throw line, a chance to improve on those 18 points she has already. And she had 36 in yesterday's game, so she's uh, right on, well, actually a little bit ahead of pace. And she played the last minute. She seems to be have yeah, pretty good stamina, too, besides being a real good athlete. She's awful cool and confident out there, that's for sure. Before that three-pointer, she was shooting five for seven from the field. Chance to cut it to a two-point deficit, which she does. 20 points for the Silva. United States 38, Brazil 36, 350 left here in the first half. Foul spotted inside into the ball game. And I believe it's the uh, the oldest the lady on the team. The last two years, she's been playing over in Japan internationally. She looks a little taller in Japan. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Of course, uh, her coach, Marianne Crawford Stanley, is one of the assistants here, along with Sylvia Rennie Hatchell. Uh, they've done an outstanding job working with head coach Kay Al. They lead now the American team 40 to 36. Coming up on the 3 minute and 30 second mark, first half. Hortensia is still on the bench for Brazil. De Silva Paula with the ball has played the entire first half. A few shots that she's missed. Rebound to Fran Harris. Etheridge, nice pass to Donovan. I'm serious, man, it's great. Great, great, great. 36, the United States leading against Brazil. Coming up on three minutes left in the first half. Brent Harris all over to Shara. Good screen by Fertilize. I think Donovan changed the matter by shooting that one. Off-balance shot that time from Suzette Silva. Controlled by Clarissa Davis. Back from the American. Chance to have their biggest lead of the game. They lead by six. Cheryl faked everybody out with that one when she's behind the three-point area. The rest of Davis could pass it down another roll. Mm -hmm. That's the type of play they need. The biggest lead, 4436. Just under two and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Mm -hmm. And I expect Paula to take a couple of shots now. Or mm -hmm. is getting ready to come in the next opportunity. Screen by Bergalotti and the roll to the basket. She's fouled from behind by Sharp. And Davis loses it out of bounds. 206 left to play here in the first half. The United States, 44, Brazil, 36. And we've had several lead changes in this game. If the United States wants to go in with double figures, they can't play that sloppy. Well, of course, we talked about it. The passing game has been a big problem for this team. Well, but I tell you, every practice this American team gets a little better. They do, this last time when Mil before Miller went out, they were passing the ball a lot better. And they were throwing off those passes. That's a costly turnover on the part of Brazil as Hortensia throws it out of bounds. The South couldn't control it. Marissa Davis from 15. Hortensia had it. Davis gets it back. She gets fouled by Bertolotti from behind. Good hustle on the part of Clarissa Davis. Left to play 44 to 36. The United States team leading Brazil. Clarissa Davis, who's been very active, can't come up with a shot. The follow in by Ann Donovan. 
We've got a timeout on the court. Thus far, the United States team is leading Brazil 46 to 36, but it has not been very easy. And again, another turnover for Brazil. They have started to play very erratically in the last couple of minutes, and that's why they've fallen behind. They had led early in the game, and at one point through the midway point, they had uh, actually a three-point lead. But the United States team has battled back to take control. Inside of a minute of play, Carissa Davis, who has been most active coming off the bench, reaches around from behind and picks up the foul against Bertolotti, who will go to the free throw line. Carissa makes a lot of mistakes, but because of her hustle, she seems to compensate for them by doing something good after she makes a mistake. And, and Donovan draws a lot of draws, a lot of traffic. Hortensio with the ball gets it quickly out. The ball to Silva from behind. Etheridge. Foul. Now that's an American play right there by Cammy Efford, a collegiate play in the fact that she found her on the shot internationally, they'll probably follow you way back out before they even get close to the basket. Very good point, and we saw that uh, a little bit earlier in the first half when the Brazilian team did exactly what you were talking about, not allowing them the opportunity to shoot the ball. And that's one of the few misses on the part of Paula da Silva, especially from the free throw line. She has 22 points in the game, the leading score, the six-point lead for the American team. They had had it up to double figures. Larissa Davis, who was not basketball, rebound pulled down by Vanya de Salza for Brazil. And Donovan with great hustle to pick that one up. It's a long way to go down. <laughs> Finally, what do you do? Fran Harris from 15. Donovan, two seconds to go. No basket, they say. Three second violation. One second left to play in the first half. And the United States will have to settle for a six point lead. Not necessarily the way it was in the way it was in the Knocked away by Clarissa Davis. That takes care of the first half of action here from Druzva Sports Arena.